Hello again. All right, we're working on chapter 34, questions for study and discussion. How can weld joint design be adjusted to prevent throat cracks? Well, throat cracks are prevented by using joint designs that reduce joint restraint and excessive stresses when the weld metal solidifies, okay? Groove weld dimensions can be adjusted to allow a deposition of sufficient amount of filler metal to overcome excessive joint restraint. Welding process uh, variables may be adjusted uh, to change weld bead size for the joint thickness, have sufficient heat input, and travel speed to prevent excessive stresses when it solidifies. So how do crater cracks form? Well, crater cracks are hot cracks, and they're caused by failing to fill in the crater before you terminate your weld. How can crater cracks be prevented? Well, properly terminate the weld. What causes toe cracks? Toe cracks are usually caused by stresses from thermal shrinkage um, on the brittle HAZ and usually on the toe. So how can we prevent toe and root cracks? Well, we can prevent them with proper welding procedures to eliminate embrittlement or excessive stresses in the HAZ. And when we have hardenable steels, toe and root cracks can be achieved by slowing the cooling rate down, um, either with a high preheat or post heating. What are two main types of porosity, guys? We went over this, surface and subsurface. Surface porosity has usually spherical or elongated holes on the surface of the weld. Subsurface porosity is a spherical elongated holes in the body of the weld, and those ones are usually called wormholes. What can be done to reduce porosity? You guys know. Well, porosity is prevented by improving welding housekeeping conditions, clean materials, clean equipment, proper alignment of fans and drafts, and avoid using excessive current and arc links. What can be done to reduce porosity in a weld? I thought we just did that one. All right. What are slag inclusions? Slag inclusions are non-metallic materials that are formed by slag trapped in the weld. How can we prevent slag inclusion in multi-pass welds? Hmm. Thoroughly remove slag from the weld and clean it every time. Okay, what causes tungsten inclusion? So there's a couple of different things, okay? We know that the tungsten drops off into our weld. So, or sometimes it actually, uh, we touch it. And when we touch it, it leaves a little piece in there. If we improperly grind it, a little bit can go into there. If we're using a uh, tungsten that's too small and we're putting too much current through it, it can happen as well, okay? All right, which process is more likely to produce incomplete fusion? Well, if you guys pay attention to some of the radiographs, a lot of them show incomplete fusion with GMAW short circuit because that sh short circuit mode is usually really low, less than 200 amps. So it has low penetration into your base metal. Usually this is because, you know, GMAW was used for thinner materials, out of position welding where you don't expect that type of penetration. Okay? What causes incomplete penetration? There's a couple of them. Incomplete penetration can occur when a groove weld is welded from one side only if the root face dimension is too great, if the root opening is too small, if the groove angle of the V-groove is too narrow, even with a good enough root opening and joint design, incomplete penetration can also be caused by electrodes that are too large or have a tendency to bridge, or by using high rates of travel or insufficient welding current. What is melt through and how can it be prevented? Oh wait, hold on, I missed one. What is overlap and how can it be prevented? So overlap is that protrusion, that big old belly of weld metal that's built up beyond the weld toe or weld root. It's usually an area of incomplete fusion and it can create a stress concentration. And of course, we can have premature failure. It's usually caused um, using a higher travel speed or current, oh, I'm sorry, <sighs> prevented, by using higher travel speeds or welding current, or reducing the electrode diameter, or changing the arc 
So not it's not a push, it's more a pull. Okay. Okay. Now, what is melt through and how can it be prevented? Melt through occurs in butt welds when the arc melts through the bottom of the weld. Melt through can be prevented by reducing the current and increasing the travel speed. Why are arc strikes detrimental to medium carbon or low alloy steels? Well, arc strikes degrade base metal properties on hardable steels like a medium or high carbon steels, low alloy steels, and they can form brittle margin design or changes in our grain structure. All right, guys, as always, take care.